Assalamu alaikum students, welcome to biology class. This is me, Ms. Sofia Yaqub from APS Faisal Court, Senior Wing 1, 8th class. Today is Monday, 27th April 2020 and it's week 5. Let's find out what's our topic today. Do any questions pop up in your mind related to life and all that? Like, why do we yawn? How do the birds fly? What do plants need to grow? And on daily basis, you think about a lot of questions, don't you? And we think that only scientists can solve these questions, but we are wrong. We can be scientists too. Now the question arises, how can we solve these questions? That's what we are going to see today. So our today's topic is solving a biological problem. So our objectives are students will be able to define biological method and its steps. First of all, you need to know what is meant by biological problem. Any question that is related to living organism is known as biological problem. For example, when you are having a question in your mind related to animals, plants, or human being, etc., it means it is a biological problem. You can solve the biological problem by a method that is known as biological method. And by using the biological method, you can become a scientist too. Now we are going to see what are the steps of biological method. The first step is recognition, then observation, hypothesis, deduction, experimentation, and summarization and reporting of the results. Let's revise the steps of biological method. Recognition, observation, hypothesis, deduction, experimentation, summarization, and reporting of the results. Using these steps, we can solve the biological problem. And now let's look at each step closely. The step one is recognition. In this step, we identify the problem or the question we are ha having related to the living organisms. Second step is observations. In this step, observations are made related to the question or the problem. Observations can be made by using five senses that are smell, sight, taste, touch, and hearing. There are two types of observations, quantitative observations and qualitative observations. Let's have a look what they exactly are. Quantitative observations deal with numbers, while qualitative deal with characteristics. Quantitatives are more accurate and they are measurable. And qualitative observations are less accurate and they cannot be measured. Picture A is the example of qualitative observation in which we are just telling the quality that the water is hot or cold. And picture B is the example of quantitative observation in which we are telling that how much a water is cold or hot. If we tell that if the water is hot, it means we are telling its quality. And if we tell the water is at 100 degrees Celsius, it means we are telling its quantity. So it was the difference between qualitative observation and quantitative observations. Let's have a recap. We have studied about biological method and its steps. The first one is recognition in which we identify the problem. Second one is observation in which we observe the things related to it. Then hypothesis, deduction, experimentation and summarization. We have studied about recognition and observation in detail, but we will study about remaining steps in detail in our next video, inshallah. Your assignment question is, why quantitative observations are better than qualitative observations? You can find the answer in this video.